Introducing the 2018-4 Schrodinger release. Let's take a look at some of the new features and enhancements. Starting in Maestro, we see a new and improved superposition panel. It now has better indication of the reference structure and a greater collection of handy substructures to choose from, including maximum common substructures, binding sites, and DNA RNA backbone. Maestro's 3D Builder has expanded its building capability for DNA, RNA, and non-standard amino acids. It's now possible to quickly build these biopolymers with chaining. Down in the interactions toggle, there is now finer control over non-bonded interactions. There's a new ability to set up multiple sets of interacting atoms and a simple way of showing only those interactions that occur within the same entry or project group. This can help avoid mixing up interactions when overlaying multiple protein ligand complexes in the workspace. Other useful enhancements to Maestro include a new secondary structure mode for quickly selecting the atoms within a secondary structure element And there's also a new workspace toggle for displaying principal moments of inertia. Among the applications and tasks, we see continued improvements to the FEP Plus panel. In the lower third, there are now a set of icons for quick access to commonly used actions, such as displaying the correlation plot. A new issues pane provides a summary of any issues in the map and their current status, including the health of ligands through to any map connectivity issues. Guidance is provided to suggest possible solutions. A new ability to replace the receptor can be found under import. This option allows receptors to be easily swapped while preserving the topology of the existing map. Another enhancement is the ability to generate a map for the subset of selected nodes. In support of FEP+, a new MCS docking ligand alignment panel is now available. The panel generates ligand alignments, ideal for FEP+, by MCS docking across one or more reference ligands in one or more protein structures. Simply define a reference grid by either creating one from the workspace or loading one from file. Select the file with the ligands to be aligned. This will use MCS docking as the alignment method and specify the ligands to be used as references for the docking alignment. Doctor ligands also have the ability to become references. And here in the advanced options, you can optionally set any of the references to have their own receptor grids. Once the job is run, the ligands will appear as poses docked within the receptor binding site and with their MCS nicely aligned with at least one of the references. The poses can then be considered for FEP+, among other tasks. Over in Pharmaca4 modeling, a new option to exclude specific features from being considered in a hypothesis is now available. Here, select the features you wish to exclude and then add them to the table. These features will then be ignored during hypothesis development. And finally, over in NIME, we see a new node for importing structures directly from Live Design, done with the same familiar panel as used in Maestro. And there are new job control and postmortem nodes. These can be used to inspect the status of a calculation when running, as well as displaying job information, help messages, and archiving files. These are just a few of the new features in the 2018-4 Schrodinger release. As always, for more detailed information, please visit schrodinger.com forward slash new features.